Hey, this is Zach King from FinalCutKing.com, and on behalf of Tube Tape, I'm going to be showing you how to do some chroma key, or more well known as green screen, in Final Cut Pro. So let's get started. So I've got my in and out point selected here on my green screen footage, and what I'm going to do is drag this here to the second layer in our timeline, because the first layer is going to be our photo or video track. So what I'm going to do is not drag it there yet, but we're going to just start the key right now. And what you're going to do is go to your effects tab, come down to video filters, key, chroma keyer. And I'm going to drag this chroma keyer on here. Now right here there's a color smoothing 411. Basically if you shot on DV or HDV, you're going to probably want to use the color smoother, which is going to be better for the tape videos. But this is a regular HD video, digital, so what I'm going to do is just use the regular chroma keyer. Also, another note, don't use this blue or green screen filter. This really doesn't do a good job. You're going to get a, a low quality result usually. So go ahead and just drag the regular chroma keyer. And if you double click this footage, you're going to see a new tab up here, up here in the viewer. So hit that chroma key tab and you're going to see a, a bunch of controls. You got a color palette, your saturation, your luminescence, your edge thinning, softening, and enhancing. Well, what you're going to do is just use this little eyedrop tool right here. And this is going to be your select color button. Go ahead and click it and click anywhere in your green screen. So go ahead and click. And you're going to see I had a really good key in that video and you're, there's a little fine green line here around the subject. But if you have other spots that aren't completely keyed, continue to hold down shift while you're doing your eyedropper and you could select more areas. But this is a pretty good key. You're gonna see we have a fine green line around here, but we're gonna get that out with a few adjustments. Now I wanna take a moment and go over some viewing options in the canvas that you have. If you go to this top button here, the one to the furthest on the right, and you click, we're going to see it's on image and wireframe. Make sure that's checked because we're going to be using that a little later in the tutorial. Also, you're obviously on RGB, but if it, for some reason you see it switch, if you hit a wrong key command, it might go to alpha. Just make sure, you know, RGB. Also, I'm on checkerboard right now, and you might be doing the tutorial on black. If you are, this is good because you can see the spill that's still left from the key. But also, we're going to be wanting to use these features to switch back and forth. So I do my first key usually right on checkerboard. They also have a checkerboard 2, which is a different amount of boxes. But white isn't going to help us in this key because you can't see that green spill as well. So let's switch over to black for this next section. And with your video still selected, let's go to edge thin. Now I just want to show you what this is. This is going to actually get rid of that little spill, but we don't want to use this yet. This is going to be one of the last things we're going to use in our key in Final Cut. Also, if you see enhance, this will turn a lot of that spill purple. And the reason is when you have a video with a lot of green, if you match it with some enhancement, which is a purple color, it sometimes dilutes the green and blends into the picture. The softening, as you can see, makes the image softer and transition into the black area. But we're not going to want any of that right now. But first, let me open the green color up so we can make sure we get a little bit more of that spill taken care of. Now, this chroma key right here that you can visually see is called your visual. Now, some filters have a visual area that you can go into and actually manage like this. But there's also a numeric up here in the left-hand corner. And if you select it, you're going to see it's a list. And there's a couple more options that we don't have access to in the visual. So let's go ahead and actually change the softness here on the luminance a tiny bit. Move it to about 23 on this video. And this will change per video and per key. But I want to adjust a little bit of the softness on luminance here. And also, if we go back to our visual button, I want to show you how to knock out some. So you're going to see what that did is change this bar right here. That is the same control as the softness in the visual in the numeric. But let's open up these sliders a little bit more and move this left slider to open up and key out more of the luminance. Now you see we've gone too far. If I go to checkerboard, you can see that there are dots and he's being cut out. So that's way too much. We want to go back here, but this key is looking a lot better. 
We have a little bit more spill here. If we go to the black, you're going to see right above here, still around his clothes, we have a lot of spill. But we're going to fix this up after we put the video in. In this case, I'm going to be using a photo to make the rendering a little bit easier for myself. But you're going to see if we put that video on the lower layer below the green footage, you're going to see it's looking like a really nice key so far. But don't let that fool you yet because if we scrub through, you're going to see there's some areas that aren't keyed as well, like in particular his hand right here. If I zoom in, you're going to see there's still a lot of spill. So let's take this away by still adjusting now that we put the photo in the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and pull his edge thinning a little more. Now make sure once you see some cutting off of his character and the subject, you're going to want to stop. Now if I try to play my video, you're going to see it says unrendered, and that's because I haven't rendered it yet, or I'm still on safe RT. I can hit on unlimited RT and be able to play back. It's going to be really choppy depending on the computer you have, but you're going to get an idea for the key. I'm going to turn that back on safe RT though, and let me zoom in and you're going to see when I scrub through, there seems to be lines here. Watch his face and parts of his body. There's like lines because the key isn't softened enough. So let me first go zoom in here to his hands. Let's take this for example. You're going to see it's a little bit pixelated here on the side of his pants and up his hands. Well, if I go and move my soften a little bit, you're going to see those pixels get softened nicely. And then we, it's a matter of adding some enhancement, just a little bit more, and moving the edge thin up. Now I'm just scrubbing through here. Each key is going to be a little bit different. You're going to want to be careful when you do the zoom in stuff like I'm doing. Go ahead and select your video and hit Shift Z. That'll pop it out so you can see the entire frame and not be worrying about everything else. You might be ruining the rest of your footage by focusing on one area too long. But I'm going to turn that softening up and that enhancement a little bit more. And you see it looks like we have a, a pretty nice key. Now, like I told you to do earlier, make sure this is on image and wireframe because the point of a green screen is so that you can move your guy around. Your subject can be moved anywhere in the frame. It can also be scaled down and so you can have them talking you know, wherever you want. The whole point of green screen is flexibility. We could also duplicate our character here. If you hold down option and then shift, it's gonna be able to align here. We have a duplicate character. I can move him to the other side and we have two of them and essentially I could make up to 98 of these characters because Final Cut allows you to do 99 layers here we're already using one for our background so I could have 98 of these characters so there you have a chroma key tutorial hope you enjoy for all your chroma key gear go to tubetape.com